Today I'm reviewing this lead test kit by Vanlin. And what we have here are 30 swabs uh, that you can use to test for the presence of lead. Uh, very simple instructions. All you need to do is wet the tip with water, shake off any excess liquid. Then you want to uh, make sure that that tip's kind of a mustard yellow color. You rub it on the surface to be tested for about 30 seconds. And you just kind of pay attention to the color change and compare it to the color bands at both the top and bottom of the label. Uh, red's going to indicate lead. A yellowish color is going to be a negative test. Uh, very simple to do. Uh, what we're going to do now is get those tests going. And what I'm going to do now is open up the test swabs. And then we will remove one of them. And the instructions are saying wet the tip with water. I actually have some water in this glass. Uh, this glass is what we're going to test. I expect a negative result on this. Then we shake off any excess liquids. Should see kind of a mustard yellow color. It says promptly use it. We rub it for 30 seconds and then we look for a color change. So I'm going to just go right here and rub this. And we'll do this for the 30 seconds. And you can see the yellow kind of on the cup right now. Um, I'm rolling the swab as I rub the as I'm rubbing the the mug here. So again, I do expect this to be a negative result. And what we'll do is I will get something that I know has lead to try to get a positive result and see if we can tell the difference. And then we go ahead and we can compare the color with what uh, the indicator on the lid. To me, this sure looks like a no lead detected. And now we would expect a positive result from this. Let's just see what happens. We'll rub this for the 20 seconds or so and see if we get a good test saying that there's lead discovered. And if you're wondering what I'm rubbing, this is actually some solder, which should actually be, I believe, 63% lead and 37% tin. So we definitely would expect a positive test here. Now, if we take a look, it's um, a lot closer to the lead detected. At first, it wasn't as obvious that it was a positive test. However, when compared to the negative test, it's easy to tell the difference. To me, this is a little too subjective, and I would prefer a more stark difference between the positive and negative results. These will do the job, but at about 50 cents a test, I'm not sure if it is the best value. I am going to rate this lead testing kit four out of five stars.